Well, I guess I won't be the most aesthetic PT in the solar system. If you watch my channel, you know that I just finished my fifth year of physical therapy school. I finished in April and it was a pretty tough semester, but I was so glad I finished. But even since I was a freshman in college, I've always known that I've wanted to do social media. And since I just finished my fifth year, I figured this is the perfect time for me to start. So over the past few months, I've actually been working at a PT clinic for free as we're required to do so over the summer. And I've been balancing PT as well as growing my YouTube channel. I've been absolutely grinding. I mean, I wake up at 4.30 in the morning to walk because I'm cutting right now. Then I go to the gym. Then I go work from eight to five. And then I come back and record two shorts every single day. And the hard work has paid off. I'm at just over 80,000 subscribers right now in just over two months of YouTube. And I wanna take this opportunity to thank you. Honestly, I haven't really enjoyed working at the PT clinic and it's been pretty tiring, but I love growing my YouTube channel. And like I mentioned before, my YouTube channel has grown like crazy but as I'll explain later, this actually might have cost me. So this last week, I actually got an email from one of my teachers saying that they wanted to talk to me about my professional behavior. And since I'm in the clinic right now and I'm taking summer classes, I figured that this had to do something with that. So I get into this meeting and my instructor tells me that they're aware of my social media and someone had sent it to them. I'm assuming it was some PT who saw my content and got offended by it. I mean, these days anyone can be offended by anything. But anyway, someone had sent my social media accounts to my school and they took a deep look at it. They told me that since I'm in PT school, I actually have to abide by the APTA or American Physical Therapy Association's social media guidelines. And they mentioned that my content was in violation of that. I guess the APTA doesn't want me to make fitness great again. But anyways, my school mentioned that I was in violation of those guidelines and that I had two options. I would either be expelled from the physical therapy program or I had to delete all my social media accounts and apologize to the PT program. There are two valuable lessons here. First, if someone gives you an ultimatum, it means it's over. And second, never apologize unless you think you're wrong. The main goal of my content is to help you guys be the best versions of yourselves by improving your physical health and mental health through functional training. So there is no way I was gonna apologize for that. So you probably see this coming, but I decided to withdraw from the PT program. And there were many reasons behind this decision. Number one, I was working at a PT clinic and I didn't really like it. I like learning about PT, but being in a PT clinic, I didn't really enjoy. I know a lot of you actually wanna be physical therapists because of me, and I actually still recommend the physical therapy profession, but it just wasn't for me. The second thing was I felt like I was being controlled. There were a lot of things I could and couldn't say, and if I went back to school, I know that they would have been watching me like a hawk. I felt like my freedom was being taken away from me, and I know that just would have made me miserable. And lastly, physical therapy is not my passion. I feel like I've kind of been sleepwalking through school, and now that I've started social media, I found something that I'm actually excited about. You may be wondering what happened to the channel now. I honestly think this is the best thing that could have happened to the channel and me as a person. The first thing is I'm not restricted at all. It's actually crazy how there are strict guidelines that PTs have to follow. But now that I'm not a PT student, I have full freedom to do whatever I want. But the main benefit is now that I can fully focus on the channel. I was working at a PT clinic full time and I wasn't able to upload long form content. I've learned a lot throughout the years and I can only teach so much during shorts. Now that I have longer free time, I can teach you guys more things through long form content. Although I won't be a doctor in physical therapy anymore, I have five years of education in my mind and no one can take that away from me. And also the last year of PT school is just reviewing what you learned the first five years. It consists of studying for boards, which is just the exam to become a licensed physical therapist. And in my extra free time, I'm gonna be studying for that exam so I can retain all my knowledge. And since I'm a lifelong student, I'll be studying other things that I can teach you guys as I can retain it a lot faster because I have a solid foundation. And most importantly, I think this is the best for my personal growth. Now I'm back in Texas where I can live with my brother and I'm closer to my family. And since I'm not sitting in a classroom or a clinic for hours a day, I can train MMA a lot more frequently. I don't plan on scheduling a fight or anything, but being the best martial artist is actually a personal goal of mine. I personally believe that everything happens for a reason, and I think this is happening for a reason. You guys may be wondering why I'm not so sad, and this is why. I truly believe that this scenario, although it's unfortunate, is the best for my future. I feel like I have a lot of people doubting me and not believing in me, but for you watching, it's so important to believe in yourself when others don't believe in you. I wanna take this time to thank my brother Mario for helping me throughout this process. And of course, I wanna thank my fans out there. I honestly feel like like I have some of the most loyal fans in all of YouTube. I'm so close to 100,000 subscribers, so if you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe, because every subscription will help make fitness great again.